moving still because that concept, moving still, frames the contradiction of dance photography. You're taking dance, which is all about movement, and framing it and extracting split seconds from it. Well, actually, you were picking up your other foot, which worked better. The more you bring it in, you'll like topple. You'll be, you could be like a, yeah. So just bring that foot in a little. And you can let go of the netting if you want. Well, I don't have a defined idea. I don't have any idea. I just want to see what's going to happen when she jumps with with whatever fabric or material props we throw in. And it takes a while, actually, for the dancer to relax into it, you know, because they, they're performers, and it's really not about performing. So it's about this magic moment that neither she nor I conceive of, and then we're just in the hands of the gods, hoping <laughs> that the conjunction of her movement and the fabric and the lighting and my timing will make something really, you know, extraordinary. But we can't dictate or legislate, you know, I, I can't show her a picture. In fact, I don't want to show her a picture because what's kept me interested all these years is that taking a picture without any forethought or layout allows me to get beyond my imagination. So it's something that's just the conjunction of Kendra and I. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I'm making my own decisive moment. I'm not giving that decision over to a motor drive that's shooting every five seconds or whatever. And I have to shoot in anticipation of the moment. So I have to shoot on the presumption or the hope that the subsequent moment is gonna resolve itself in an interesting way.